Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. And welcome to another subscriber Sunday video where you, my subscribers, send me in your videos and I aim to help you and help you improve. And in today's video, we have a video from Shireen from Newport in South Wales, here in the UK actually. And she has sent me a little video clip of her playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and she just wants some general guidance and, and help on the basics and where she is at the moment. So let's watch Shireen's clip. Hold first that I use when I play. she mentions her bow hold and I will say that her bow hold is ver is is pretty good there are different variations on bow hold so I tend to tilt a lot so if she has been learning from my videos then in my videos I do tend to tilt a lot I have a hybrid hold between the Franco-Belgian hold and kind of a Russian bow grip so the Franco-Belgian would be a little bit more upright I do believe and the Russian would be sort of slightly more tilted I'm kind of somewhere in, in between that, but you know, no bow, bow hold is, is wrong or right. As long as you're holding correctly, basically, you're, you're doing the basics of that correct and you can move, then you're absolutely fine. The one thing I don't like is the position of her thumb and it might seem quite trivial now, but she's gonna come unstuck later on because she's not gonna be able to move. So by that, she's doing all right at the moment, but when she does more complicated things and she wants things to sound a lot smoother and flow a bit more, she's not gonna be able to do this because her thumb is gonna be stopping her do that. And that's so common in a beginner, I would say, 99.9% .9 of beginners, you guys watching this at home, are probably guilty of doing the same thing, where your thumb just isn't in the right place. So where you want your thumb to be is you wanna hold it with the very tip of your thumb, and it needs to go in between the ferrule and the frog, as you probably know all of this. But what a lot of people do is tend to have the thumb through the hole like that. So they're holding more on the pad part of the thumb instead of the top part of the thumb. So they're holding it on the side, and not the very top. And what I tend to do is wedge my fingernail. So as you can see, my finger doesn't come through the bow at all. You probably can't even see it there. Whereas hers was ever so slightly coming through and she was holding it with the pad part of her thumb and not the top. So she aims to bend the thumb quite a lot and sort of, I tend to push up towards my thumb where the bow grip is so that the thumb doesn't sort of poke through or push through. So that would be something that she would need to look at first. The other part of her bow, bow hold was that her wrist, I would say, is a little bit too flat. So her bow hold wasn't so bad, except for the thumb, but she was, she was playing very flat like this. You need to have your elbow up, you need to have your wrist up, and you basically need to have your bow hanging down. So what I would say for that is that if you, if you just relax your hand, kind of flop your wrist over, and then go to hold the bow, that's how you want to be bowing, not that way round. Because again, that's going to cause a lot of a lot of this going on. You're going to be constricted a lot, and you're going to get a lot of that. Which brings me on to my third point, where she wasn't bowing quite straight enough. So if you have your elbow up, arm up, wrist up higher, so your fingers are now kind of rolling down onto the bow when you bow. Not only are you going to get a nicer but smoother sound, but it also makes it easier to keep that bow straight. So what a lot of people do with that is tend to bow. So they will bow this way. So they'll bow from the shoulder and not from the elbow. Never bow from the shoulder because when you bow from the shoulder, what happens is your arm goes that way. Your arm needs to stay in line with your back. So if you notice, I'm, if I bow completely straight now, can you see only the only my elbow is bowing, not. As soon as I do that and bow from my shoulder joint, 
the bow starts going like this, like I'm sawing a piece of wood, but as soon as I bow from the elbow and keep this top part of my arm straight, then the bow goes straight. And what you have to do is just learn the line of that bow and you can do that just simply by looking in the mirror. The fourth and final point I wanna mention is that fingernails are too long because the fingernails are too long she's unable to get quite the right posture with her left hand on the fingerboard so her intonation is very good I'm not going to knock her for that she even used uh, a fourth finger instead of using an open A so that's very very good but her fingers could have been slightly further over the top I did notice she had a little bit of nail length unfortunately if you're a woman watching this bye bye nails mine are always super super short and that's sad, I know, but I also really enjoy playing the violin. So the shorter your nails are, the more, again, a bit like the, the thumb on the bow, you can put the fingers on the strings on the very tip. So almost like your fingernail, you're rolling so far over that your fingernail is actually touching the fingerboard. And if you do that, you get a nice round curved hand where you'll be able to have the flexibility to move. And also you will be able to do vibrato. If you don't do that, or she carries on the same way she is, she's going to have a very very difficult time doing vibrato so again it might not seem important now but it is very very important later down the line and that's not something she wants to be correcting when she needs to, to when she needs to correct it or when she wants to do vibrato but it's something that she should be correcting now while she's got the chance and the opportunity to do that so there we go i hope uh i hope shireen has found this helpful and i hope you guys that might be experiencing something similar or maybe you can relate to the video have found it quite helpful thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next subscriber video bye